All right. So today we have this unique and proper bow tie. It's an original design by this channel. Want to see how to fold it? Let's go. So first, you just take the dollar, and we're not creasing. You fold in half, and you make a little pinch mark here at the top edge. Turn over, line up your corners again, make a little pinch mark here. Unfold. Now we're going to fold this edge over to the edge of this circle. Now you can adjust this a little bit however you want, depending on how much of George's face you want showing. If you want more, fold it down here less. And if you just want his eyes, you fold it over here a little further. So we're going to go to the edge of the circle of the logo, the white circle. Just cover it up right there. And make sure it's lined up good on your edges. And both sides. And then crease that down solid. Nice and sharp creases. All right, open that up. Fold the other side. Now, you've got to do it to the same amount. So wherever you went over here, to the edge of the circle, or if you went up that way, do the same on this side. So we're going to the edge of the circle, just covered up. Check it's lining up on the other side. Crease that down nice and sharp. So we're trying not to put any extra creases in the bill to do this model. So now what you do is you just roll this edge in and make a crease at that pinch mark from the very first step. So line it up with that crease mark. Give it a little pinch on that side. Line it up with this crease mark right here. Give it a little pinch. And then make sure it's nice and straight all the way across. It should be. If you line it up well, then go ahead and crease it down. Do the same thing on the other side. Roll it in. And just line it up with the center crease mark or the other edge like that. Check your side, make sure it's nice and straight. Pinch it up, lift it up, give it a good solid crease. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're not going to crease the whole bill, just this center part. And so fold this back, and this is variable too, your choice. You know, you can have the top line, or you can do it to the top of his head, or you can come down lower. So let's do it right at that line. We're just hiding the line. There we go. Now on this, line up that center pinch mark. It's hard to see now with the center crease. That pinch mark with the center. Ours is a little bit off right now. Moving it that way. Don't let the edge slip when you do this. Well, it's okay if the, these slip, but this fold you want lined up with the center on the pinch mark to the center line. 
entry set down just on the center. Don't pull this out. So be, be careful right there and just crease the center folded area. Now on the bottom, it's your choice too, but you want to make them even. What we're going to do to make it even is right up at the top of his little scarf that hangs down, right there at the top of that, right there. Right at, right at the edge of the part that goes around George's neck. Fold it back. Let this one unfold so it's not in the way. Crease that right there. Just hold it gently until you're sure it lines up on the center flap with the center line. So we got it right on there exactly how we want it. Crease up just this little center part. Okay, so now fold the other one back over. Doesn't matter which one's on top. Doesn't matter. So now you just hold this down gently. And you, you pull the corner. It's going to pull out from underneath. You pull the corner out. It's coming out right here, see? And you make this into a nice point. Now, if you go past the point a little bit, where it's like that, it's okay. But you don't want it to end up here, because then that little point will stick out on the side. It looks a little awkward. If you can get it exactly on the point, that's really nice, just like that. Okay, crease that down. Crease this up, and now holding right here gently, pull this point out. Let's turn it so we can see the point really well. Pull this on out from under there, and make a nice sharp point right there, right on the end. And we got it. Perfect. And now you want to crease this down. So it stays really well. Now flip it over and do the other side. And two more points and we're, we're done almost. All we've got to do is flatten it out pretty good. Pull this point out. Pull this side out, I mean. Roll it on down, make a nice little point there, just like that. We got it. Crease that down, maybe lift this up, crease that down, so everything stays. Put this back and pull this point over. Make a nice point right here. Just take your time on these points. And you'll get them right on just like that. So we got all four points right on. Crease this down. Might re recrease these a little bit tighter. Flip it over, and there's your bow tie. Awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this. That's my unique and proper bow tie. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.